Evening. This is Nita and Miss Panda with the Timepiece Garden. So we've got the water on in Garden 1. On the side of the Jeep. I know, we're never at this angle. And we were up here checking on my, uh, my wild rose because it produces an abundance of rose hips to see if they were ready to start harvesting. Um, and you can see when I wipe the, the, the dust off of them, they're almost shiny. So they're, they're really close. Just not quite yet, maybe a day or two. I think we get a little rain or something in the next couple of days, they'll be ready to go. Having said that, while I was up here looking at the rose hips, I found, and I'm not trying to disturb him, that is a monarch caterpillar. Does that make sense? Who has crossed the road because my butterfly weed is over there by the Jeep, but he's crossed the road to come over here where there is no food source to go ahead and make his chrysalis. So he is in the middle of his transformation to become a monarch butterfly. He's done eating. And he's just picked this perfect little hiding space. You know, had I not come over to uh, check the, uh, the rose hips, I'd never have seen him. So he's, he's down there. There's my finger, finger, finger. There it is. He's way down there. Just hanging out. Doing his thing. So, and then also having come over here and checked the rose hips, while that side of my arch is awesome, this side of my arch has decided to not stick in the ground. So, this fall, after I harvest rose hips and go ahead and cut the rest of this back, um, I won't lie, I like the I like the look of the red rose hips with my yellow goldenrod. You know, I got some little blue chicories over here in bloom. You know, chicory, coffee substitute, yeah, I don't drink it. Um, it's all right, though. Does that make sense? This is real, a very cute, for me, it's a very cute fall picture. Um, which is why I don't cut it back when I start cutting back the rest of the, the rest of the hillside. I actually let it go through its fall changeover. And then I'll do it. I'll come in here and I'll cut all the stuff back. Cut it down. Again, it keeps the lights being able to come up here. So Panda's got a play area when I go into darkness at 5 o'clock. But, you know... So anyway, when I cut all this stuff back, I'm going to have to look at this side. Like this, it doesn't look crazy, but I don't know if you can tell on film. There you go. It's got an Alice in Wonderland lean to it, and it can't do that. Not for next year, anyway. All right. So anyway, I just thought I'd show the, the, the chrysalis, you know, the monarch caterpillar getting ready to do his thing or her thing. So, y'all have an awesome one? Miss Panda and I, we'll talk to you later. So today is my lucky day. He is on the side of the house behind the Jeep. Same thing, he has attached himself so he can go ahead and chrysalis and become a monarch butterfly. So I will probably come out here and take a picture of him every day until he's empty or gone. You know? And then just so you're, uh, you can see, there's the house. I know there's Miss Panda. Checking him out. You gotta leave it. Good girl, good girl. He's gotta go all the way across the driveway. And he either came from that bush or from that bush. You know? Again, I'm not trying to turn around and show you the Jeep, but... That's like crossing the Sahara Desert. You know, there's all kinds of things that could have got him across the driveway here. Wasps and spiders and, you know, but he made it. He's doing his thing. I think it's kind of cute. All right, talk to you in a few.